Okay. We're about to do another episode of Outlast. I just opened all my Christmas presents. And they were wonderful. But now, it's time to give y'all another episode, so. Let's see how scared I can get within the next 20 or so minutes. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Christmas if you're watching this on Christmas Day. Such a Christmassy game. Thanks. Should we be recording stuff? Alright. So we're just gonna. I wonder if running makes more noise than we should be. I'm scared to go in here. Batteries! Thank you. Seems brighter. I don't know why. I guess that's a good thing. Okay, to peek. Why do we need to peek? Q or E? So this way. Ooh, I remember you, I think. Alright, we're just gonna. You just stay right there and have your dreams or whatever. You need some food in your system. I don't like how it's all blurry and stuff. I like that channel. It's a good station. Okay, the screaming is really freaking me out. Or humming. Or whatever that is. It's really annoying. Left mouse button to open. Alright. Um, I know this is insignificant. What the heck is that? Quit breathing so hard, you're freaking me out. Alright, I'll take that. What was that noise? Freaking, okay, collected objects are updated in your reporter's notebook. Let's check out and see if we have it. Ooh. We have notes that we need to read. I'm inside. Bodies everywhere. Blood, burn marks, heads lighting up, like bottles behind the bar. Dead Murkoff scientists have from the ceilings. Their badges say Murkoff advanced research systems. Murkoff's longtime MO has been to profit off the exploitation of supposed charity. F the third world and Bankro, another billion. How did Murkoff think they would make people make money off a building full of crazy people? There's some kind of tactical cop. Pinned like a pig on a spit, tells me to get the F out, and then dies. Would have been a good thing to hear when I could still leave when the way I came. Yeah, probably. A uh, crowd of broken men watching a dead channel. They look like patients. They survive whatever happened here, but nobody is home. Ooh, we got some of these to read too. Golly. Okay. So, this is about Billy. Um, patient claims to have prolonged, I mean to have progressed to self-directed lucid dream states, morphogenic engine activity observed at unprecedented scale, continuing stage 4 hormone schedule, spiritual, spir I don't know what that is, revealed no bronchial, bronchial accumulation, hematocrite centrifuge again failed to separate, erythrocytes highly worrisome, MRI revealed Laughter in REM state. That's freaky. Okay, Billy asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit against Murkoff. This represents a catastrophic breach in security despite Billy's claims that he discovered the truth in the blood dreams of Dr. Traeger. The only Traeger on company records one Richard Traeger is an exhibit from MRD. All orderlies and security personnel must be included in video security and brew to include analytical biometrics. I have no idea what all that means, except he was laughing in his dreams and he cares about a lawsuit, apparently. Yeah, that's weird. 
Okay, warrant for seizure. Seizure at Mount Mercer Psychiatric Center. Uh, affidavit had been made before the board of directors by Murkoff Hardline Security, who has reason to believe catastrophic security failure of Psychiatric Center with imminent danger of environment contamination. We are satisfied that the affidavit testimony established sufficient evidence to require urgent action on part of MHS grounds for insurance of this warrant. <gasps> you are hereby required to grant MHS full access to all facilities. Regardless of responsibility, whatever. Okay, as soon as we close this, it's gonna make that creepy noise. Are you set? Go. I hate that. I didn't even step. Oh yeah, I did. Okay. Quit breathing like that. You freaking me out. It's so freaking dark down there. Holy moly. Crouch. I'll just continue watching y'all's TV. I'm sorry. This crazy people messed with y'all's minds. Whoa. Alright. I remember you. You do something to me. I don't have time for this. You just stay away. Don't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let go of me. Let go. You jerk. So sick of people manhandling. I am all... Shut up! Shut up! Jeez. I mean, really. Having heart palpitations. <sighs> Whoa, was that me talking? I think I need to be quiet. Which way are we supposed to go? We're supposed to go... Over here, I think. Look behind you by holding Q. Where are you all running? Thanks for the info. Frozen! Mm -hmm. Okay, yep. Go away! Going in the bathroom. Because I probably just keep my riches. I mean, not me, I mean Miles. Freaky witness. <gasps> Dead or supplies! What the? Oh, okay. Sorry for your loss, I guess. I don't know. Let's go in this place with all the dismembered body parts. Yeah. Ew. That's disgusting. Ooh, battery. Yes. Oh, the I wonder if it was that crazy guy that just ran across the hall. Messing with me. Don't be shut the door and stuff. Okay, we're just gonna do this nice and slow. Okay. Run. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna run right here. And now we're gonna close it. How do we do that? Press left. Thank you. Jeez. Alright, I think we have a note. Let's read it. I'm already bent all to hell, picking broken glass out of my scalp. Cup cracked ribs, nearly killed by a deformed giant. Looks like somebody tried to F start his head with a cheese grater. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I mean, not in those circumstances, but anyways. He throws me through a wall, knocks me unconscious. I wake up some doughy old man with a face like an alcoholic kitty fiddler. What the heck is an alcoholic kitty fiddler? And a homemade priest outfit calls me his apostle night job I asked for. These there are words scrawled and blood everywhere. I'm getting an ugly feeling that in my gut that the priest is writing them for my benefit. Sweet. My favorite. Cryptic messages written in blood. Stop with the noise, okay? Okay, let's do this thing. Hack, hack, hack. Shut down that thing. La, la, la. Faster. No. 
No. I thought I was supposed to be your friend. Oh, son of a... Mm. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's get in here, because I remember this part. It freaks me out. Okay. Don't try to fight. Okay. I'll be cool. Go away. Nobody's in here. Golly, you freaking ugly. Convenient that he opened the wrong locker. Yeah, that's right. Nope, don't look at me. You're so ugly. Merry Christmas. Adios. Yeah, keep walking. I'm not getting out until I don't hear any more voices. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, I think it's safe to go. Let's do this. We're just gonna run. Run fast. Keep running. Down here. To the freaking part of the basement. Because that's always good to get into a basement. Classified. I mean, confidential, not classified. All right, let's read it. Okay, hypnotic experiment, ooh. Work was continuing to build in 13, using the following subjects. I don't see no subjects, okay, whatever. Post-hypnotic of the night before, pointing figure, you will sleep, was enacted. Mrs. Jackson and Pierce immediately progressed to a slits hypnotic state. Miss Pierce was then instructed, having a fear of firearms previously, that she would use every method at her disposal to awaken Miss Jackson. Now in a deep, not sleep, and failing this, she would pick up a nearby pistol, fire it at Miss Jackson. She was instructed that her rage would be so great that when she would not hesitate to kill Jackson for failing to awaken. Ooh, snap. Miss Pierce carried out these suggestions to the letter, including firing the unloaded pneumatic pistol gun at Jackson, and then proceeding to fall into a deep sleep. After proper suggestions were made, both were awakened and expressed complete amnesia for the entire sequence, so they didn't remember it. Miss Pierce was again handed the gun, which she refused in an awakened state to pick up or accept from the operator. She expressed absolute denial that the foregoing sequence had happened. Okay, so we gotta turn on the switch for the thingies. And I'm pretty sure there's a bad guy down here somewhere. Okay, we need to cut this off. Ooh, that's too bright. Press space bar to vault. A freak. Who's that? What's that noise? Who's there? Oh, shiznit. Nope, not happening. Not happening. Okay, I need a minute. I need a minute to chill out. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's do this. We're just gonna. We're just gonna. I think we're gonna just do the whole run method and just run, smash the buttons, and get the heck out of here. Close. Close the freaking door. Oh crap. Why don't you be loud about it? Let's make sure nobody's coming here because I slam that pretty loud. Chill for a sec. Okay. Oh crap. 
maybe he's not coming. I'm afraid to get out now. Let's listen for door beating. I think we're good. I'm about to get out and push the button. Let's zoom in. Where is the button? I think it's right there. Enough with the noises! Okay, hide the locker, hide the locker, hide the locker. Can't see. Oh crap, he's coming. <sighs> Shh. Everybody be quiet. I don't see anybody. I heard him beating on the door though. <laughs> That's him right there. Oh crap. Oh, he's got a freaking piece of wood with a nail in it. Don't you open my locker. Oh, crap. <laughs> okay. That's right. I went away. Keep walking. Alright, guys. I know I keep making these short, but... It's Christmas Day, so as soon as Christmas is over, we'll start picking up into this a little bit more than we are. So, when we pick it up, we will restart the generator in the basement and stuff like that. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.